Hello and welcome to the Brainwash YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about what would happen if all ice on earth melted. Before we begin this amazing video, make sure to subscribe this channel for more enriching content. I'm sure that you have heard about climate change on the earth. Nearly all scientists agree that we are experiencing a rising temperature on our planet that is caused primarily by our use of fossil fuels like oil, coal and natural gas. Widespread use of these fuels for heat and energy has caused an increase in atmospheric gases that reflect heat back to the surface of the earth. This warming of the earth in recent years has caused some of the large bodies of ice and glaciers around the world to begin melting. As you know, ice is frozen water and a great deal of water on the earth is trapped as ocean ice and glaciers. Some of the small glaciers and ocean ice in the Arctic at the North Pole have begun to melt but the most important melting is occurring in two really big glaciers covering the island of the Greenland in the north and the Antarctic continent at the South Pole. Sea levels are already rising at slow rates. But most predictions are that over the next 85 years, at the end of this century, sea level may increase by 6 or more feet. This means that our generation will see these changes in the sea level. If the Greenland and the Antarctic glaciers completely melted, sea level would rise more than 200 feet, a 20-story building. But if this were to happen, it would be in the distant future. Let's look at the effects of a 6 feet rise in sea level. First, some inhabited islands in the Pacific Ocean will be underwater, Holland will be at further risk and have to improve its dikes, many coastal cities around the world will have flooding problems, the Florida Everglades will be endangered and all of these low areas including New York City will be in danger of major flooding during storms. Second. People will have to move from low-lying areas and their houses and land will lose their value. Third, coastal area flooding with salt water will spoil some fresh water sources. Fourth, a lot of good agricultural land in low areas will be lost, so there might be a decline in the availability of food. There will be other effects of this warming on the earth, including droughts, wildfires and other problems as people search for better places to live and move from one area to another. Scientists agree that we can slow down these climatic changes if we develop better ways to produce energy such as solar, wind and other forms of energy and if we reduce our use of coal, oil and gas. Yet, the changes that are in place now will continue, so we must plan for a different kind of future. Humans are very smart and should be able to handle these changes on the earth, so don't worry too much. Also, don't spend a lot of money to buy a house on the beach.